And now it's time for Hobo Reviews with Willy Be a Hobo. Tonight, review the Digimon movie. Digimon! Digital monsters! Digimon full of spoilers! There's these Digidestins led by Ty, who are no longer Digidestins because... Well, they're no longer Digidestins, but before they're no longer Digidestins, we get to hear the story of how they became Digidestins, because this movie is delved into three stories. Three stories to make one movie. Get it? Because it's 30 minutes for an episode, so essentially these are three 30-minute episodes combined into one movie. But first it starts with Angela Anaconda at a stupid movie theater when you go see the Digi movie. Talk about promoting it before you watch the movie. Yeah. Angela Anaconda Digi Ball to Angela My Angela Man. And she turns into Ty and they have this epic battle with the teacher's robot and all that wonderful stuff. Then we get to the movie! And it starts out with Ty as a youngling! And he discovers a digital egg! Because, of course, Digimon's are born in eggs. Gee, this would have been a wonderful Easter movie, except it's not really related with Easter. But besides the point, it hatches, and it becomes a Digimon. The Digimon then digivolves into its training level, and then eventually, by eating a lot of stuff, it digivolves again into Agumon. Or at least it's Agumon. Agumon! Agumon! That's right! Agumon! Not Agua! Agumon! Gee, I can't believe I can't remember my Digimon. That must have been a long time ago. So then he is not the Agumon that you remember from the show. He's a big Agumon. And he doesn't have the pepper breath, it's the pepper fire! Ah! So then he goes running around town, because you know they did this take place in like China or Japan, which makes sense, because this is technically an anime. He goes running around and then he discovers a parrot mod. So then he digivolves. And he says, I'm Greymon now. And then he goes killing the parrot mod. And they both go kablooey. And with microcosms goes blasting off into the sky. And no one hears from them again. Except the people who witnessed this ultimately become the Digidestins. We then fast forward to when they were done being Digidestins, they're hanging out, they're having normal lives, except there's something wrong with the internet. It is attacked by a virus Digimon. But not just any virus Digimon, it's Diabolomon! And he's a bad, bad, bad virus. So they have to call on their Digimons to Digivolve and stop him! You have Agumon Digivolve to Greymon, then Digivolves to Metal Greymon. And then you got Ka Gentleman Digivolving into Kabuterimon, which Digivolves into Mega Kabuterimon. Which, I don't get it. Why is he called Mega if it's an ultimate level? Anywho, they can't stop him. So then they have to call on Gabumon and Panamon. Panamon is of no help. So then Agumon and Gabumon warp Digivolve into their Mega Digimon levels. War Greymon and Metal Gururumon. Yet the two of them can't stop Diaboramon, who then multiplies into a bazillion copies, and then pretty much kills off War Greymon and Metal Garuma. So then Ty and TK's older brother, whose name I cannot remember, go up into the internet. They go through the screen into the internet, and they bond with their Digimon, who then DNA Digivolve, that's the birth of DNA Digivolving, by the way, and they become the most Powerful Digimon of them all, and one of my favorites, Omnimon! And he's able to blast away all of the Diaporamon duplicates with the Supreme Garden! And with the Transcendent Sword! He stabs the real Diaporamon before time runs out, and thus the missiles do not blow up and kill everyone, and the virus is dead. Except the virus then spreads on to America in particular Colorado, and one of the Digidestin's Digimon gets infected by it and turns into some Gorillamon, who's not named Gorillamon. His other Digimon is Terrymon, and you might remember him from the third season of Digimon, and he has to stop this Gorillamon. But then we get the new Digidestin's, who you might remember from season two of Digimon, led by my favorite Digimon of that season, Vimon! In fact, I think I remember having a Step Vmon doll one day. 
Anywho, they armor Digivolve because at the time they could not Digivolve into their champion level. They could only armor Digivolve. And thus, they had to armor Digivolve to their armor Digivolmon level in order to defeat the virus. And what do you know, they defeat the virus and everybody lives happily ever after and we go off to the tune of Smash Mouth. I don't know why Smash Mouth, but okay. And so that's the Digimon movie. I for one recommend it, especially if you're on a big, big, big Digimon fan and you want to relive all your favorite childhood memories. This is Willy Beobo saying... Digivise! You got a Digivise! Oh, come on, up and go, will you? Come on! Digivise! Come on! I want to be a Digivise like the others!